in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy words, long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with God's own heart. For our good message on this Tuesday, the 25th of July, 2023, broadcasting from Dallas, Texas, United States of America, by your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a selection of Don Bosco, we listen to this encouraging message in line with the feast we celebrated today, entitled, Lessons from the Life of the Apostle James, Son of Zebedee. St. James, son of Zebedee, was one of the twelve apostles of Jesus and traditionally considered the first apostle to be martyred. He was the son of Zebedee and Salome and brother of John the Apostle. He is also called James the Greater or James the Great to distinguish him from James, son of Alphaeus, and James the brother of Jesus. James, the son of Zebedee, is a patron saint of the Spaniards. Now, there are a number of lessons that we can draw from this great saint. One of the greatest lessons we learn from James is the readiness to answer the call of Jesus Christ. We read in Matthew chapter 4, verse 21 to 22, Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the boat, with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. James, along with his brother, was more than willing to follow Christ. He could have thought of a thousand reasons to decline the call of Jesus. James could have thought of his job, family, prior commitments, and personal ambitions in life. But no, his response was of that of a sure man. He didn't think twice, but instead he immediately left the boat and the father to follow Jesus. James showed us that there is no better time for us to answer God's calling but now. Once we are called by our Heavenly Father, we must respond with all urgency and promptness. Secondly, we must be ready to forsake anything or everything for God. In the same verse, in Matthew chapter 4, verse 21 to 22, we read the response of James to the call of Christ. He left the boat, which represented the source of living. He also left his father, which represents his family. Now, this does not mean that if you are going to follow God, you should automatically forsake your job and your family. The situation for James here was unique. Christ was preparing him for something greater than anything he hoped for. Thus, Christ wanted James to be his full-time student along with the rest of the apostles. It isn't necessary that you need to leave everything behind, but when the situation calls for it, you must be willing to give 100% of your life to God. Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 10, verse 37, He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Sometimes the people who might prevent us from following God are our unconverted family members, friends, and acquaintances. However, Jesus expects us that we must love him above all else. Our devotion to him must be supreme that if anyone hinders us from fully following him, we still choose to make him our top priority. And the apostles emphatically said, we must obey God rather than men. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Amen.